Lech Lecha. Go out on a journey. This week we read the parasha where the journey of the Jewish people begin, but it far from finishes it. Last week we read about Noah, and he was righteous in his generation, but he was far from being real righteous. Abraham was chosen by God to start the journey of the Jewish people, but also he had his faults. Faults, though, that without them we could not have grown and gotten stronger. He cares about himself, not in the way that Noah did, right? Noah cared about, he was closed in a box, he was closed as an ark. Abraham went out of his way, he went apart from his family. He went on a journey, but still he cared about himself. He cared about growing his own family. Hashem promises him that he's going to have a family so big that he can't count them in the dust of the sea. If he can count the stars, they'll be as big as the, as the amount of stars. He cares about when he enters Israel, he cares about his own family and himself because they're starving, there's no food. He goes to Egypt. When he goes to Egypt, he's scared for his own life. And he tells Egyptians that Salai is not his wife, but his sister. Abraham is far from being perfect. But still, God chooses him because of his qualities. Because he is not like Noah. He has grown. He has developed. It is not until we get to Moshe, where Moshe is offered by Hashem to wipe out all the people, all the nation of Israel, and start a new nation by his seed. And Moshe refuses. When Avraham, which we will read soon, tries to save Sdom and Amulah, he does not look to Hashem and ask for repentance, ask for Hashem to forgive them, the bad people. He only asks if there are ten righteous people. Moshe does the opposite. He looks for forgiveness in Hashem. He looks to have Hashem forgive us and give us a second chance. But we could not ever have gone to Moshe without Avraham. And that is the importance of this parasha. We also see it in Salai, which becomes Salai in our parasha. She gives up on so much. We see it with the other foremothers as well. And that's what we have to take. In order to be Moshe, in order to reach the level that we care about others, that we cancel ourselves completely in the eyes of Hashem, that we do everything, L'Hashem Shammai, for God's sake, first, we must take care of ourselves. We must build ourselves. We must build ourselves spiritually. We must learn Torah. We must study hard. We must strengthen ourselves physically and be able to fight out dangers. Avraham goes out and, and defeats the four kings in war when we educate our children we have to educate them before we educate them about not thinking of themselves about doing things just for god's sake we have to build them up and we have to build ourselves up we have to become stronger we have to think of ourselves we have to look at our, after our family we have to have a certain degree of ego, of the ability to be competitive and to strive and to become stronger. And once we reach that age where we can take that and then diminish it in the proper way, because at some point in our lives we understand that it is not enough to be egotistical, never to be fully egotistical, but that we understand the meaning of it of why we were meant to become strong in ourselves in order to afterwards fulfill Hashem's deeds and do what He wants from us, first we have to strengthen ourselves. First we have to go out and make sure that we don't live in a famined land, that we eat, that we become stronger, that we live, that we destroy our enemies. And only once we have secured, we have safeguarded our future and our family's future. Then 
we can go on to the next level. But the levels are crucial. They're not faults. They are something that we use to step and become better. As in Hasidut, they teach us, the great rabbis, that once you do a mitzvah, and what led to doing that mitzvah were a lot of errors and faults, all the errors and faults turn out to be mitzvot as well. Because they led you to realize that they were wrong, and then to do the actual mitzvah. And that is the way that we have to progress and build ourselves and build our family. That is lech lecha. So get up and take that first step. Go out into your journey. Build yourself. Strengthen yourself. Strengthen your family. And then look at all around you. Look at Am Yisrael. Look how strong they are. Look how this war has brought us together. Has strengthened us. That is how we will defeat our enemy. And that is how we will bring light into the world. Shabbat Shalom.